Okay? So in the morning I was asked a beautiful question about what's the proper order of things supposed to be done on Oshan Araba. Most of the time, what, uh, what we see by people doing in Oshan Araba is they're staying up the whole night learning Torah. Comes in the morning, they're so tired, especially the Oshan Araba is and during the, this time of the year, it nets, it's very late. 7.05, 7.10, almost Amidah would be. So people are already exhausted when the Shavuot, it's at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30, 6 o'clock sometimes. But not 7.10, it's an hour and so different difference. So a lot of people have a hard time staying up so late. What they do? Anusim. Anusim, they start praying before net. they making an alot ashacha, starting the kobanot. And after that, they're already standing amida, 30, 25 minutes, 30 minutes before net. So is that a, the, the best practice to do? Or if there is a way to get things, change things around, to get it done. So you should know, first of all, the Mishnah in Masechet Megillah, in Daf Chaf Amubet, the Mishnah is telling us, Yaakov, that all day long you're allowed to read the Halil. All day long you're allowed to read the Halil. On that day of Shana Raba, we're going to have three mitzvot, Midi Rabbanan, and one mitzvah from the Torah, that we're doing. Three mitzvot Midi Rabbanan is Halil, Lulav is the second, and the third one is the prayer. The prayer could be midoraita, debatable if you count the Arvit as the first prayer of the day. The Torah says that you're supposed to serve Hashem with all your heart, which means a prayer. How many prayers is obligated from the Torah? One. When are you start counting that one? Is it the Arvit that you did the night, the night before or is it the Shaharit you do in the morning? It's Mahalokit. So even if you're going to go after the opinion that says you follow the Arvit, which is that that was the Doraita per day, because the Jewish day starts from the night. So what is the Shaharit Abi? The Shaharit is the Rabbanan, Ami Doraita, because you already prayed uh, that day a Doraita prayer by Arvit. Some say no, Arvit is a shoot. How can you say Mitzvah Doraita would be a shoot? With uh, original was just optional. So you see that from the beginning, a prayer of Shaharit was not Mi Doraita, was only, sorry, was not Mi Rabbanan, was, was by Emet Mi Doraita, because Arvit was not an obligated prayer to begin with. Nahon? Question is, Yaakov, those three mitzvot and Kriyat Shema that we have, Shema Yisrael to say, when is the proper time for them? So those three mitzvot, the proper time for them, the Mishnah says in Masechet Megillah, a list of things that the proper time for it is after Netzach Hama. And if you did it before Netzach Hama, ah, Yatsa, means, means, means to say, yeah. not from the Torah, not uh, Lechatchila, sorry. You did the mitzvah, just Bedi Abad. How do we know Halel is supposed to be done during the daytime? How do we know? Because the Torah says, Mim Mizrach Shemesh Ad Mevo'o Me'ulal Shem Adonai. Remember this? He Shem Adonai Mevo'ach Matav Adonai. Mim Mizrach Shemesh Ad Mevo'o Me'ulal Shem Adonai. Ram al kol goyim Adonai, Rashamim Kibodah Adonai, Adonenu. Ad Yashem Ha Bechol Aretz. Right? Right? This is the Psukim we're all familiar with. Yes. Over there we said that God's name, Yaakov, Me'ulal Shem Adonai, from what time? Mizrach Shemesh, Ad Mevo. What does Mizrach Shemesh mean? The Eastern time. What does Mizrach Shemesh mean? When the sun rises. When the sun rises, which is next. Yeah. So when is the Halel supposed to be said? Me'ulal Shem Hashem. In the morning at sunrise. At sunrise. Now what happens many times? Because people start so early at Alot HaShachar. This year Alot HaShachar is about 5.40. If you're going to start so early uh, the, the prayer of uh, Shaharit, the Korbanot, you're going to get in uh, Amidah maybe in 30 minutes. You're going to say the Amidah and it's uh, much earlier than this. <clears throat> much, much earlier than this. Then after the Amidah is going to be Lulav. Lulav, what's the proper time to shake the Lulav, Avi? After Daytime. Shaharit. After Nets before. or before Nets? Same thing. The Torah says, "Ulkachtem lachem bayom harishon peri etzadar kapot emarim." Bayom. When is the proper time to shake the lulav? After net. Bayom. What is yom? Day. Daytime. And when is daytime? Lachatchila to be called daytime. After net. So if a person is praying so early, he did already halal bediabad. Prayer amida shaharit bediabad. And Lulav, Ishuk, Bediyabad, three mitzvot, Shaharit, Lulav, and Halel, all of them before Nets. If you did before Nets, all of them he did, Bediyabad, Lola Now, 
גמרא עם מסכת שבת, מסכת ברכות, עם דף ט. Bring us the shas, יעקב ג'ון. On top there is a small shas. We already said שעקב ארדוי. The whole part, the whole part. Mm-hmm. The Gemara says that the best time to say Shema Israel is at Netz Minyan. The Gemara says over there, thank you, Yaakov. The Gemara says over there, like this. Amar Aleh Rabbi Ola Rabbi Al'a Le Ula. When you're going to go to a certain place, ask about the, the, the well-being of my brother, Bruna. There was an Amora name. His name was Bruna. He was the brother of Rabbi Al'a. Make sure when you're going to meet him, you're going to ask. He's basically nowadays, say hi to him from me. Why? Because he's Adam Gadol. Besameach va mitzvot. He's a very big person. What makes him so big? That he's Sameach va mitzvot. When he does a mitzvah, you, he's glowing. Sameach va mitzvot so much. What makes a person Adam Gadol Rabotai? How happy he is doing mitzvot. Says the Gemara, Zim Nahada, one time, Sameach Geula le Tfila, one time he was connecting Gaal Israel, Adonai Safadai Tiftach, he Sameach Geula. And he did not stop smiling and being happy the entire day. Huh? Mr. Bechor, how many times did you pray in Nets and you said, Ga'al Israel, Adonai Safatai Tiftaf Yagit Yilatech? How many times you did that in your life? Many times, Nachon. Did you, did, not, did you not stop smiling the entire day because you did that at Nets Midian? At, the, at, the, at the, the prayer, every day you pray Shahari Tachon, what do you say? Sometimes, you know, how many people don't do that? What do they say? They say, then they step three steps backwards, then they go three steps forward, and then they say, This is a terrible mistake. This is a, you just missed a big mitzvah because you did those moves after Ga'al Israel. It's not good. What should have been done? You should have. Say, stack the three steps already before. Shira Hadasha Shabihu Givim Shimhagad was Fata Yamaha Kulam Dubim Hu Amiru Amiru. Go Alena Don't say about Shemoki Dosh Israel Bab Hata Shem. Already when you say Bab Hata Shem, you're already at a station that you are about to bow down on the nice of Tai Tiftah. So Bab Hata Shem. Right. When you say Gaal Israel, you're already at the nice of Tai Tiftah in the same moment. You cannot say Gaal Israel, go backward, forward, and then say Gaal Israel. את אדוני ספרתי תפתח. בגלל שהוא מת להפסק, בטון גאל ישראל, תו אדוני ספרתי תפתח. Right? That's a viral mistake. So we have to be ready before. So, so many people do, uh, do it the right way. So why they don't stop smiling the entire day? Like Bruna, that big Amora, he did not stop smiling the entire day. Says the Tosfot. ואם תאמר, ולא כל העולם סומכים גאולה לתפילה. All the world is connecting גאל ישראל, to Adonai Sefatai Tiftach. So what's the secret of Bruna, this Amora Bruna, that he was so happy the whole day because he did Geula Listeret Tfilah. What's the Chidush? Everybody doing that. Yosef, you understood the question? Says the Tosvot. Why Rabuna was so special? שקוראים קריאת שמע קודם רק נצח המה ותפילה לאחר הנצח המה. says the Tosfot, when do you get such a blessing of, of smiling the entire day, Avi? מתי? When you say, גאל ישראל, אדוני ספתי תפתח את which point? את נצח המה. נץ מניין. At the moment of the נץ, יעקב, at that moment, גאל ישראל, אדוני ספתי תפתח. Then says the Tosfot, you're going to be having that extra power of happiness throughout the day. Why does the question change? Huh? The same question that there's a lot of people that do that also. Oh, you're right. But the Tosfot says that uh, over there you're going to get stronger power. You're right. The discussion still stands. 
But uh, Tosfot says that if you do it in the next minyan, you're going to get an extra power to be like Bruna, like uh, this rabbi Bruna. The, if you wouldn't do it in that time, you, you just got a mitzvah, but you're not going to get that blessing of extra happiness throughout the day. You hear, Avi? By praying next minyan, you get blessed to have, have extra happiness that day. So it's worth to pray next minyan. Huh? Now, says the says the Shut Maharsham. Bine, be the Varze Klarich, be Sever Meboshemish, be Yeshle Hair, the Behalel, Yeshle Achmir Yote. He says, you know, there is a mitzvah of Megillah. There is a mitzvah of Brit Mila. There is a mitzvah of prayer. All those mitzvot are supposed to be done after Nets, which means Nets and all. Which one out of them, says the Shud Maharsham, is the most important to be after Nets? More than Brit Mila, more than Megillah. Halil. Halel is so important to be after it. Why? It says, because the Pasuk says, Mim Mizrach Shemesh, from the sun rise, Hashem should be praised. It was not said the word Bayom. At Brit Milah, the Torah says, Bayom. Bayom Hashemini, Imol Besar, Olato. Bayom Shemini, eighth day, make Brit Milah. The Torah didn't say, from sun rise, make Brit Milah. Megillah. Vayamim ha'ele nizkarim v'na'asim. Bechot dov v'adov, mishpacha v'mishpacha, medina v'mdina v'ir v'ir. Nechon? Vayamim. Those days are remembered. Those days of Purim are remembered by the Jewish people. The Torah didn't say, from sunrise. Brit Milah, it was not said sunrise. Lula, what's his name? Megillah, it was not said sunrise. When was emphasized, the Pasuk emphasized it, from sunrise. Mimizrach shemesh ad mevo meulal. From sunrise till sunset, Hashem's name should be praised. It means to say Hallel, that you praise Hashem. When is the proper time for that? From Netzminyan, the sunrise. So how you tell me now, if a person is going to go stay up the whole night, and he's going coming in the morning, and he, he says, I'm so tired, I cannot do that, Rabbi. Anus, 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 Ahamana, Patre, even Hashem says you patu. What do you want from me? So what is he doing right now? He is, because of that, goes to pray before mm-hmm. Nets. He's going to sh- 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 shake the lulav before, before Nets. And he's most likely going to end up saying Halel before, before Nets. And Kriyat Shema, he did much, <coughs> much earlier before. And he did at the beginning, Mishayakir. Now saying Shema at that time, according to some opinions, Bediyavad. So Mitzvah Doraita, he did Bediyavad. Another three Mitzvot that they are, the Doraita Safek the Rabbanan, he did also Bediyavad. Just for what? To get Oshana Rabba's night through. Through the entire night. Now, question is is this the proper evaluation? It says, Ave Mechashev Sechar Mitzvah Keneged. Have said that. A person has to be Mechashev. Calculate how much I'm gaining and how much I'm losing, like an investment. Boris, when you put down money to buy a house and fix it and make it, you think about what's going to be the cost of this, what's going to be the cost of that, what's the price I'm going to be able to sell it. Right, right. Uh-huh. You invest. What's the input and what's the outcome? So says the Mishnah, same thing you have to do for mitzvot. So look, you're going right now to lose Three mitzvot on this side, one mitzvot on that side, and all of them are very important mitzvot. Just for an inyan, to stay up the whole night. The most important part of the staying up the whole night is the book of Tvarim to be finished before 1240. This year it's 1240. It's 1240. Yes. That's the most important part. Yes. In fact, Ashkenazim, what they do, they read that Sefer Tvarim at the beginning of the night, right after they stay in Shul. They read the entire Dvarim, they go home, they make their Kiddush, they go sleep. That's it. That's the Rosh Hashanah Rabbah. They don't stay up the whole night. Harizal said to stay up the whole night. But, but the main part, he says, that what's the most important, the, the, the peak of that night, is to finish the entire book of Dvarim without any shortcuts. Not three Pesukim here, three Pesukim there, like that we do in a different time. We, here, the entire Sefer Dvarim, at, uh, throughout the whole night. Uh, sorry, throughout the uh, beginning of the night till 12.40. Huh? One shot. Best is to be one shot. Best is to be one shot. 
Yeah. Could be even after Shkia. Not necessarily praying or, or, or a week. Now, what if you hear it? If it you the concept of hearing only works when you understand. Remember? Shomea, Kione, according to Maran. In Siman Kuf Tzadigim and Maran Paskin is only whenever the party that listens understands. En Shomea Kione ima Shomea Alom Evin. He has to understand. That's a Maran Paskin thing. Not like the Ashkenazim. Comes the Rabbi Mordechai Yafe. Boris, you know the Rabbi Mordechai Yafe? Ah, huh? the Levush. You know the famous story with the Levush? The there was a woman that went to, he, he was a merchant that sold, sold from door to door. And there was one time a house that he was going into, and one woman welcomed him inside, and she wanted to make with him Avera. And he said, no problem, let me just go to the room, change myself, and I'm coming back. Goes to the room, and he looks through the window, and he sees number two, pool. Back in the day, there was no, it's uh, 400 years ago. There was no sewer system. He said, Hashem, if you're going to save me, if I'm going to jump from here, I'm dedicating myself, no more business, no more mission, nothing. I'm going to Eretz Israel all day, study Torah. He jumped. Could be Mordechai Yafi, he was a beautiful man. That's what he's Yafi, Yafi. He jumped and he had garments on him. They all became stinks. Hashem Rachim number two of the entire place over there. He was saved. He didn't die. And he said, Hashem, for every levush, levos, every garment that was smelling bad from this thing, I promise you I'm going to write Sefer. And I'm going to call it levush. There is many levushim. Levushet chelet, levushet paz, levushet this, levushet that. Ah, Natalia, Rabbi, you see? What a person have to do? Dedicate his life to study Torah. And call the Sfarim after a big miracle Hashem did to him. So Rabbi Odecha Yafe writes in Siman Tafre Shnon Bet that Lulav, Egabe Lulav, Ikaz Rezuteu Mishitenet Sachama Lechatchila. You hear? Avi, when is the most important part of the Lulav? He says, listen, I have a question. He says, but Abraham Avinu, Bayashkem, Abraham, Baboker. When was Akedat Yitzchak? When Abraham Avinu prepared himself for Akedat Yitzchak? After Nets or before Nets? So it was before Nets. Abraham Avinu prepared himself. Bayashkem, Abraham, Baboker. Bayachavosh, Et Hamoro. He's preparing himself. Bayakach, Et Shenina Avito. Bayelech, Tahon. He prepares the donkey, he takes his uh, people, the, his boys with him. With him. Oh, and uh, he walks, he right? so says, listen, Abraham Avinu did the Akedat Yitzchak preparation before Nets. So why Lula, we have to do after Nets? He says, by, by Abraham Avinu, the Torah didn't tell to Hashem, Hashem didn't tell to Abraham, the Torah says the word Bayom? No. אבי, מה אתה אומר? כתוב בתורה ביום? מה? כחנה את בנך, את יחידך, אשר אהבת, את יצחק, והעלהו לעולה. It says ביום? Put him in עולה ביום, the Torah says ביום? Torah says ביום. So the Torah didn't say ביום. That's why Abraham Avinu prepared himself as early as possible. From all the time already preparing himself. Yes. Says רמור לך יפה דלבוש. The Torah says, The Torah emphasizes the word Yom. And what is Yom Lechatchila? Before Nets or after Nets? After Nets. So if a person is going to pray before Nets, the Lulav is going to shake before Nets, he's going to miss out on the Mitzvah Lechatchila. That day he's going to miss out on that Mitzvah Lechatchila. Now, Rabotai, I'll reveal to you a secret. The Alkut Yosef, <coughs> Rabbi Vadi Yosef's son, he's saying, what's more important? To pray at Minyan Po'alim, which is before Nets, by you praying Minyan, or to pray Yahid after at Nets Minyan? <laughs> what do you say, Yaakov? Abi Mata Omer. Minyan Po'alim, Be Minyan, or Yahid at Nets? 
מה דעתך? אה יוסף, מה דעתך? Listen up, רבותיי. How he brings a proof to that. It's so beautiful proof. Says the Rambam in, in, Rambam in a response, the Tshuva. Mi sheikdim v'yitpalel kodem ha-netzah hama shelo b'shat ha-dachak ha-im yatsa yedir chovato. That was the question they asked the Rambam. If a person prayed before Netz and it was not anus, it was not shat ha-dachak. Says the Rambam. Mi sheikdim kodem ha-netzah hama If a person prays before Netz and it was not shat ha-dachak Choteu, this person, says the Rambam, is a sinner. The person prays before Nets and there was no need for that. He's called, he's not Shatadahak, he's not forced to do that. He's called a sinner. Before sunrise. If a person prays before sunrise, before Nets. Do you know what it is? The Rambam Rabotai is a very straight to the point person. And he says, if a person prays, do you hear Nathaniel? Before the Netz uh, Minyani says, if a person prayed and there was no Shat Adahak for him, he's called Choteu. Rambam writes it. Choteu, sinner. Chatanu, Avinu, Pashanu, Tushas, Tushal, Pashtir, Shim, Kavari. Praying before sunrise. Sun, sunrise. It's a sin or it's a mistake? Choteu. Choteu. Yeah, he's, he's, he's mistaken. He makes an Avera by mistake. He's also there, Rabbi. Leyot pore achobato. If they're forced to, if they're forced to, it's a different story. Question is, what if you're not forced to, and you just want to get go home earlier? Soon we're gonna deal with the sleep. People are forced to pray earlier because they're tired. They're, well, they're falling asleep. Navi. <laughs> And some opinions said that if a person prayed, look what he says. Mm-hmm. Right. If a person prayed before Netz and it was not brings the run, and he says, what does it mean if a person is accustomed to do something? What is a ragil? Says the run, ragil means two times. If a person two times in a row, or in a row, doesn't have to be in a row, two times prayed for no, without a reason before Netz, Says the, says the, the, the Chida, the Berkei Yosef, it says this person did not fulfill the mitzvah of prayer. Why? Because you went against Chachamim lechatchila. Chachamim said after Nets, and you prayed before Nets. So Chachamim approved your mitzvah. You did not get any credit for the mitzvah. Now only that, the brachot you made is lebatala, and you have to pray again the entire prayer after Nets. So says Rabbi Yosef, sometimes, Bechor, sometimes people come to you, says, listen, we need you for Minyan, come help us for Minyan. What do you say, Avi? The early Minyan, before next. Yeah, so it says, they have a reason to pray that time, because they have to go to work. You can pray later, but you don't want to waste your time. Is not wasting your time, is enough of a reason to allow yourself to pray with them and get rid of the, and, get, and finish your obligation of the morning? Says the Alakha, no. Go help them with the Minyan, but you pray after next. Don't Chas Shalom pray after before next. Still, still help them with the Minyan. Help them with the Minyan because they have a reason. They're not sinners. He says, and what if? Vimken bevaday she en lemi she efshar lo litpalel imanet or lachar mikin litpalel kum nazibur kodem vanet. ואפילו אין מניין בלעדו, אלא רק יצטרף לקדש של קדושה ברוך הוא, ואחר כך יתפלל ביחיד, אם אין לו מניין אחר שם. אבי, you hear? What if that's the only מניין in your city? Before next. אין מניין אחר. I'm reading to you, רב עובדי יוסף לשון. ואחר כך יתפלל ביחיד, אם אין לו מניין אחר שם. ורק הפועלים עצמם, שאין להם ברירה, יתפללו קודם הנץ. He says, no. He says, Go help them, and if you don't have any other minyan, pray after, whenever they're going to finish, by yourself. by yourself, but make sure it's at midst. 
So we see about the not, not only that, let's finish it off. That's a look how we made a in a beautiful calculation. What's more important? Says the Rashba. Rashba. What's more important? To connect Ga'al Israel to Adonai Sefatai Tiftach or pray in Minyan. What's more important? Pray in Minyan. No, correct. Pray in Minyan. Huh? I'll give you an example. Be- Be- Connecting at the right time. Right now, a person prayed by mistake. He was saying, 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 saying. He was a little bit dozing off. His mind was not fully there. He goes, goes, Shira Hadashi Beichu. He's already supposed to Yilot, Ayel Elion, Goham Baruch, he's supposed to get up. Prachtal on that. He got, Barbat Hashem, Gaal, Israel. I don't know, what am I, what am I doing? What should he do now? This guy said, Baruch Hata Hashem, Gaal, Israel. And the Minyan is not there yet. You're going to be there in two, three minutes. In a minute. What should he do? Wait for them? Or well, because you said God Israel connect right away, I don't know if and start a prayer. Continue. What should you do, Yank? Bechor, what do you say? Minyan or connect Gaal Israel to Adonai Safatai Tiftah? Connect both connect. Ari Mata Omer. Is it the right time? Huh? Like the right time. Right time. Right time. After, let's say 8 o'clock in the morning. Everybody in the right time. 8 o'clock in the morning. You go. Huh? You go. I will wait, but you go. <laughs> Says the Rashba. Din din smichat giulah le tefila matar davar kol achom moshet tefila achar anetz achama. It says neged adin shel tefila banet batel din smichut giulah le tefila. Another point. I didn't say that point. I said a different point. Listen to this point that he said. A person comes to synagogue and he sees them praying. He, he walks in. Gaal Israel. Should he jump right now into the prayer with them? Because if he's going to start right now from the Akedah, get the going order, he's going to end up praying Yahid. What should he do? Says the Rashba, jump with them. But if I'll jump with them, I'm going to miss out on Gaal Israel, because Gaal Israel is only a blessing. You can say after you say Shema. Mm-hmm. You have to have a Shema, which is you bless two before and one after. And only then you can say Gaal Israel and Adonai Sefatai Tiftah. So if I'll jump with them, Adonai Sefatai Tiftah right away, I'm going to miss on connecting Gaal Israel to Adonai Sefatai Tiftah. Says the Rashba. Praying with Minyan is more important than to say Gaal Israel Adonai Sefatai Tiftah. Wow, you got a parachute together. Can't be a solo parachute. Mm-hmm. Do you hear this? Yeah. Says the Rashba, better for you to jump with them Adonai Sefatai Tiftah, even though afterwards you were going to make up for whatever you missed before, you will not be able to say Gaal Israel Adonai Sefatai Tiftah because you already prayed. So you missed out. So mech yula le tefila. Says the Rashba. To pray with Minyan is more important than that. Now, what's more important? It says, We said to pray But peace It says, when do you do that? Only if it's Netz Minyan. When do you jump together with them? Only whenever it is? Netz Minyan. So what do we see? Netz Minyan is more important than Gaal Israel Adonai Sefatai Tiftach. And to pray Betzibu, it's less important than connect Gaal Israel so I'll ask you a question. If somebody will tell you, Yaakov, if somebody will tell you, come to a certain place, stay up the whole Shana Rabbah, but in the morning there is no minyan. You're going to pray a hate. Would you go to this place? Huh? By going to a place, 
that in the morning they're going to end up praying before the net. Says Ramavadia is worse than praying, end up praying, but you hate somewhere oh, wow. after the net. Because if you put in comparison, according to the post game, what's more important? Prayer after net, bayahid? Or prayer before net, bayahid? What's more important? Before net or at net? Before net, at net. What is more valuable? Praying at net. What's more important? At net. At net. Yes. Or bayahid before net. That's the Avad Yosef's Pesach. Et netz be'yahid is more important than before netz be'minyan. Wow. Do you hear this? So now listen to this. This I read to you from Avad Yosef. Rabbi Tzach Yosef copied his words. It's brought down in Al Kut Yosef. Now listen to this. Says Avad Yosef, Le'inyan halacha nir'a. שאם עבר והתפלל כן כמה פעמים שלא בשעת הדחק, יחזור והתפלל בתנאי נדבה. says if a person prayed a few times before a net minyan, why did you pray like this? Oh, the, uh, in my shul, that's the only time to pray. I don't, we don't have in the whole city a different time. So I pray with them. Net says at 7, they pray Amidah at 6.40. What can I do, Rabbi? That's the only place I have. Says Ravadia, if you do it, and you do, you didn't need to do it. They do it because they have to go work. But you, what are you doing it for? I don't have any other minyan. It says, Rabbi, go to this minyan, but don't pray with them. Answer Kaddish, Kudushah, Baruch Hu, Sefer Torah, the whole thing. But Amida yourself, you don't pray at 640, 187. You have to pray at? The next minyan, even if it's going to be a Yahid is what? By yourself. So you can finish all Shukhaid beside Amida. Get to right before Gaal Israel. Stay there. You can wait there. Now, question to you. You know many times, the Chod, many times people in the Knesset, how long it takes the entire Hakafot with the sellings of them and with the Yashema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Everybody wants to be Hazan that day, you know? Mm-hmm. All the seven people go up, Shema Israel, Hashem Melech, Adonai Ana, Hashem Oshiana. And everybody has to make it so long and loud and oh, oh, Habibi, Anashim, Ayafim, Otsim Lishon. How long this entire thing takes, especially the seventh Akafa? Mm-hmm. At least one hour. The seventh one, that you have a whole text to read. Kama Zaman Zalokiach? Huh? At least 25 minutes, at least. All seven? All seven. Easy. With, easy. That's without selling, I'm saying. Morning. If there is selling, Abraham Avinu, Tchak Avinu, which is a good thing. People buy it. It's a zechut. They support <coughs> the synagogue. They support the Sefer Torah. They support all the operation over here. It's obviously, it's a mitzvah to do. Especially if their name is Abraham and he buys Abraham. This name is Yitzhak. He buys Yitzhak. It's connected. It's not a joke. But it takes time. So now let me ask you a question. If you pay attention many times, how many, how earlier the nets, than the next time, people in this prayer end up praying earlier? Kamazman, maybe half an hour. Now let me ask you another question. According to the Kabbalah, you're supposed to surround the Teva seven times with the Lulav. Seven times with the Lulav. The Arizal says, you cannot touch Aravot, in Shara Kavanot he brings it, before you brought all the Hasadim into Malchut. That's his Lashon over there. Bringing the Hasadim into Malchut, Chesed, compassion, kindness of Hashem, into this world, which is Malchut, it's coming down to this world when you do the Akafot. You, do, you did Akafa, number one, is Keneged Abraham, which is Keneged Chesed, you're bringing the chesed, shebe chesed, into malchut. Then, akafa number two is itzhak. You're bringing the chesed, shebe gvua, into malchut. You're bringing the chesed of the itzhak side, which is the ju- judging side. From him, even that side, you're also taking a chesed, the kindness of him. Then Yaakov, then, it's, then uh, Moshe, Aaron, 
Yosef and David. Those are the seven sefirot that we are bringing, Chesed Arizal says, into Sefirat Malchut. Yeah. And continues the Arizal and says, you cannot touch the Arava before you're bringing this mal- at the Hasadim. Because Arava is the long leaves, the willow, willow tree. This is also corresponding to Dinim. He says you cannot bring the Dinim before you brought the Hasadim. Until you finish the Hasadim, don't touch the Dinim. Question to you, according to the Kabbalah, are you obligated to surround the Teva with the Lulav? The result says yes. According to Halakha, are you obligated to surround the Teva with the Lulav? No. no. Maran says, I'm reading to you Maran. In Simat Afri Samech, in Seif Bet, Maran says, No hagim la'akif af mi she'en lo lulav. Even if a person doesn't have lulav, mean hagis that he could be doing a kafot. You just walk yourself. Huh? Like you're touching the... By yourself. Yeah, this leaves of Arava is of the lulav. Attached. Which is chesed. The lulav... Uh, by itself. Right. All the f- four species, Arba Taminim, they are uh, a kit. Uh, a weapon, whatever you want to call it, right. that we able to, or antenna, that we redraw chesed down to our lives. He says to Malchut, which is the final point, which is this word. <clears throat> Arabot are judging, judgments. So why, so why don't we take it off before the... What? The, don't know, Arabot, we don't take off. We no. keep it inside the lulab. Without Arabah, your lulab is pasul. You touch the while you're doing it. Right. Yeah, that's fine. We're talking about the five Arabo that just connected the five Dinim and Sepah that we learned yesterday. This cannot be done. This you cannot touch. The five Arabo, which is connected five Dinim, which he calls it five Hamisha Gibrot, which is connected Man Sepah, Zeasu. According to Arizal. So now listen, Abotai, to, um, to uh, the, before, before, before that, I'll tell you another point. This point. If you right now want to summarize, we spoke about prayer, tefillah, before nets. What we said, it's such a hamul thing to pray before nets that it'll be better for a person to pray yahid at nets than in minyan before nets. We spoke about halel, that the pasuk, the, we saw that the, the shud ma'arsham, Rabbi Sh- uh, Arab Shvadon, said that it's so important to say Halel after Nets because the Pasuk emphasized from sunrise from Mizrach Shemesh at Mevoom Ulak Shem Adonai. Don't do it before that. We spoke about Lulav, which the Torah emphasized Bayom Arishon. During the daytime, it's supposed to be, the Lulav should be shaken. Lo Balayla, Bayom. Torah emphasizes it. All these three mitzvot, if a person does before Nets, is Lechatil over the Abad, Lulav, Hada, et Lulav, Ha'alel, and prayer. Is it the or the before Nets? According to some opinions, if you purposely did prayer, Shaharit, before Nets, without Sorech, the Rambam calls him Chotehu. We saw the Rambam Bechuba, he's a sinner. And according to some opinions, he has to repeat the prayer again. Maybe such an important prayer, or Shana Rabbah's prayer in the morning, he misses out. He has to pray again, according to some opinions. And the most important one is the Kriyat Shema. Kriyat Shema that he could have do Kriyat Shema Kiratikin. He missed out on Mitzvah Tasem Mido Raita, on the Lechatchila level of it. He missed out on this. He did, he's doing things, but he had on four things three on this one and this one on that side. What is he gaining out of all this? To make those long prayers of the Akavot after the Halid. Now, I saw a suggestion of a few communities. So what they're doing, they take that section, that half an hour that we have after Halil, before Musaf, which is Akafot, they take that and they plug it before Shacharit. So what did you gain with this? You know, there is no Gilui Meforash in Arizal, not clearly stated, if you have to read those prayers, the long prayers that we have for the Akafot. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Oshiana, Hashem Atzlichana, all these things. It's not Meforash written in the Arizal, you're supposed to say this. So, and halakhically, you don't have to do it again, at all. According to Maran, we said, you could be makif afilu, she mi she'en lo lulav afilu. So what do I suggest? That many people should look into this. I will send this chuba out also to other people that can look more into the sources. Mm-hmm. Is, 
את עלות השחר, והוא שיוצא ברכות התורה. נטילת ידיים without ברכה, אין ברכות התורה. את עלות השחר. After that, let's say what time is עלות השחר this year? About six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Make at that time the selling for the kafot, for the shana. Can I get Abraham? Can I get Yitzchak? Can I get everybody? Yeah. Meanwhile, the time will pass by five minutes, ten minutes. Depends how long the the auction is going to go for. Take out sefer Torah. Put it on the table. Start the akafot now, without lulav. Yeah. Why without lulav? Because if you're going to pick up right now the lulav, if everybody's going to pick up right now the lulav, what do we say? You have to say bracha. And if I do the bracha now, what did you gain? You did the lulav before next again. So do it without lulav. Ask all the prayers, all the pray for this, pray for that, the rain, the trog, the all things that we pray for. It's going to take you at least, at least half an hour. With the auction, with the akafot, with everything, at least half an hour. With the Shema Yisrael, Hashem Melech, everything. Like this, you're going to get already at 6.30, 6.35. You're going to start Akedah. Behold, what's going to be at that time? Everybody's going to pray. Netz Minyan. 7.10 is about going to be Netz. Right, that day? Yeah. But 7.04 today, is not a problem. 7.07, 7.08 in New York. That's more or less going to be the time. Yeah. Everybody going to pray next minyan. Now listen how much gain we got. The whole kehila stayed up the, entire, the, the, the same time they would stay anyway. They would stay that time in the shul anyway. If they would pray shahamid first and then do the hakafot, they end up praying before next. Lulav before next. Halil before next. Kirat Shema before next. Everything they missed. Just what? For this hakafot with the prayers to do. Switch it around. Put the hakafot first at Alot Ashacha. Half an hour, make the hakafot without lulav, without arava. All the prayers are finished. Hazaku Baruch. <coughs> Everybody will pray nets at 7 or 8. You got the Kiryat Shema on time, the best time. Now, according to Arizal, in Shara Kavanot, in Kavanot Kiryat Shema, Drush Gimel writes Arizal. Ichud Partsuf Yaakov, in Ichud Partsuf Rachel, Naasa Davka Bizman Nekudata Netzhama. Where is Yaakov connecting? Partsuf Yaakov connects with Partsuf Rachel, which is at that time the Bracha come down to the world, only at next time. Means that if a person is praying to Hashem before next time, he's doing Gula to Tfila before next time, he does not connect himself to a moment of the Zivug, the moment of the union of Partsuf Yaakov with Partsuf Rachel. So look how much lost he gets just because of those long prayers that we have, the seven of the seven couple. So how are you going to fulfill the words of the Arizal, Rabbi? So first of all, over here we have four mitzvot on the line, which is very important mitzvot. You're going to do all of them b'diavad, if you're not going to flip it around. Unless you're such a tzaddikim, you're going to wait the whole time for nets and then do everything according to the Orsedeh. That's the best of the best. But what happens whenever you cannot do that? The community, it's too hard. It's late, people are tired. What to do? If you flip it around, you get already the next minyan without problem. But all beauty goes with the lulav. Now no, no, hold on, hold on. Then what are you going to do? Go to the sukkah, do the, the uh, lulav in the sukkah like the Arizal said. Do the halil in the sukkah like the Arizal said. And then come to the synagogue, do second time, this time with the lulav, without the prayer. Do the Akafao three, seven times quickly. How long will it take you to go around the Teva seven times quickly? Come as man. Daka? Stein, man. How long is it going to take you? Depends on the traffic. Depends on the traffic, right? So more or less two minutes, max. Then you finish that. Kriyat Torah, Musaf. Everybody went home at the same time. But the order that we made is going to save everybody. Like this is the best to do. If a person cannot, I, I, I should say the second best. The best is to go in order after next, like, like usual. But what if the community says, we cannot do that, it's too hard. Anusim, malasot, bnei adam anachnu, bnei adam anachim. Magen Abraham Paskin, honest, she'enah, have honest. 
a person missed something because he was sleeping, it's considered to be anus. Mm -hmm. Anus, what can you do? He's, he's tired. So if you anyway going to start shacharit after alot hashachar, nachon, flip it around. You, this way you're going to end up praying Nets Minyan, the entire community to be Yachad, in such a holy day as Rosh Hashanah And you didn't miss anything. What did you, only thing you missed? You did the Akafot with the Lulav, without the prayers at that time. You did the prayers for that before that. That's it. Got it, the order? So 6 o'clock, start the auction. 6 a.m. this upcoming Sunday, Rosh Hashanah Rabbah. Finish with the whole story, probably the machine 6.30, 6.35. Start Akedat Yitzchak, end up praying Net Minyan Bazman, then Lulav in the, in the Sukkah, Halel in the Sukkah, Hakafot, you're going to come back to the synagogue, do with the Lulav the Hakafot, bring down the Hasadim of the into Malchut, and that's it. Like this, you got everything without any problems, uh, I should say, on the second best level. The first of the, the best of the best would be. To pray the proper way at Netz Minyan, the prayers with the Lula, with the Akafot afterwards. But if you're already going for the second best, at least do the second best, not the third best and the fourth best by flipping around the, the order. Got it? So let's, things, let's get things clear. The schedule for Motsai Shabbat. Okay, so let's just summarize again the times. This year, Tavshin Pegimel. By 12.35, Hoshana Rabbah, Tikkun, which is Sefer Dvarim, should be, should be finished. Right. You can start from Shkia. You can start from Arvid already. 12.35 finish. 12.35 till 12.40. We're going to say everybody the Kriyat Shema Alamita. Mm -hmm. The entire thing without Birkat Amapil. At 12.40, try to go to the restroom. Obligate yourself in Asher Yatzar. Coming out of the restroom, according to the Kabbalah, it's supposed to say Birkot HaShachar, Bechatzot. So you start, Asher Yatzar Ta'adam Bechokma. Kofir Kol Basar Mafli La'asot. Elokai Neshama Shemetatabi. You finish in Gomel Hasadim Tovim, the Amo Israel. And then you can say Yatzon. Finish. Stop. Don't say Birkot Torah now. Continue study Torah the whole night by about 6 o'clock in the morning. Stop again. Until at Yadayim without Beracha because the night is over. Birkot Torah. The whole three Birkot Torah. Shel Kedeshan Mosulam Simon Zivre Torah. Ve'a Revna. Ve'a Men Torah Amo Israel. Asher Machar Banu. And Ve'ani Avarechem. Finish. Auction should go for the Akafot. Take out Sefer Torah without Lulavim, without Aravot. Akafot, Shema Israel, the whole thing. It's finish about 6.30, 6.35. Start Akedat Yitzchak. Talit, Akedat Yitzchak. And you're going to start, uh, make sure you pray by nets. You finish the, the prayer, Shaharit. Lulav in the Sukkah. Afterwards, Halel in the Sukkah. Uh, because Kabbalistically, it's very important to say those things in the Sukkah. Halel and the Lulav. In the Sukkah. Finish that going back inside the synagogue. Take out Sefer Torah. Now do the Akafot quickly, quickly with the Lulav without any prayers. Quickly. If you want to pray, the Arizal says it's good to mention the Zuchut of the Hakafah. You say in the Zuchut of Abraham Avinu, Hashem should give chesed on us. If you want to say it. If you, there is time, quickly to say that. Seven times you're going to go around. Finish Kriyat Torah is going to go, the reading of the Torah, and uh, Musab, and everybody's going to go home. So this way you're going to end up going home, and the same time, like other millennials will go home, but they did the other way around. They're going to miss out on four mitzvot, but they are very important. Lulav, Lalel, Tefillah, Kriyat Shema, everything is going to be Bidi Abad. For what? No reason. You have a way to do it around, and like this covered, the second best, on the, on the highest level, the second best. If you want to do the best of the best, if the community is strong enough, Start the prayer at 6.30 about to get to Netz Minyan at 7, 7.08, whatever the time is, and then to make the whole entire prayers like every year that you do with the Lula Kapot, with the Lula afterwards. But that's not everybody can hold. So if you cannot hold the first best, at least, at least you're going to go for the second best. Amen. Amen. Amen.